Updates on Alexa, on Echo, Kindle, and Ring devices, and the Fire TV platform all expected this afternoon at Amazon's highly anticipated invite-only devices and services event, only about an hour away now. The Wall Street Journal's Joanna Stern joins us now ahead of it. Hey, Joanna, what's the most important hey, thing here? Is it the Echo or is it this broader ecosystem of devices made even by other companies that Amazon's trying to build with Alexa? It's usually a balancing act at this at this event. I mean, my favorite thing about this event is that usually it's as what I like to call out, uh, Amazon throws everything at the wall and sees what sticks event. <laughs> I mean, uh, do you remember the, um, the Echo or the Alexa powered glasses? Do you remember the microwave? Um, do you remember the ring they made? So, they, and that's what I think uh, this event is all about. It's about experimentation for Amazon. Them telling the public, look, we're, we're a hardware player too. We're trying to put our services, whether we have created them or we've bought them via, via Eero or Ring, into these new hardware products. And we want to see uh, what sticks and what works for our customers. The most popular, possibly, or at least iconic device that Amazon's got is the Kindle. But I think they talk about it the least. In a way, is this sort of... Amazon showing it's like wild and crazy out there creative, or is it about pushing specific devices that are crafted for a particular use case? It's very un Apple. Yeah, it's it's super on Apple. It's even on Google. And I thought you were going to see that say there that the Echo is the most kind of iconic Amazon product, right? Alexa. I think that at one point it was the Kindle. Then maybe it turned to those Kindle tablets, which are still very popular, especially for parents buying cheap ones for kids. And then it became the Echo, right? And then the Echo sort of also got overtaken by some of the competition. Google, other companies, Sonos, trying to make smart speakers. Many, many of them rely on Alexa. And so what happens with these events with, with, with Amazon is they say, we've got the service. We can, we can build on top of it with all these sorts of interesting hardware products. But really, at the heart of what really matters is the service we provide, whether it be Alexa, whether it be Amazon Prime, whether it be the bookstore, whatever it may be. What about the fitness space? Of course, we just had this controversy over this Prime bike that it turns out wasn't really an Amazon-related product. Uh, and then you have Apple pushing into the fitness space with that new fitness app. Will we see any fitness represented here? I, I, I love that you're asking this because I have in my mind, um, like, one of the best things about watching this event is just to see what crazy thing they're going to try to put Alexa in. In my mind, I keep thinking they're going to just release a Peloton competitor with um, with Alexa just yelling at you to pedal faster. Um, I have no insight or reporting into that. It just feels like a crazy category that Amazon would want to enter. That said, they have been pretty far behind in health and fitness. A couple of weeks ago, they did release or announce this new Halo band. It is a, it is a uh, screenless band from Amazon that is going to do all sorts of tracking of your health. There's some weird fit, there's some some weird features in there, including uh, pairing with an app and taking a 3D model of your body. So if you'd like Amazon to have a 3D body uh, model of you, likely you know semi nude, um, that is that is an option that's coming this fall. Also, I believe it can tell your emotions, which is also another thing. I don't know. Oh, yes, if I yes, want yes, Amazon right. knowing. <laughs> another thing I'm dying what about for this? to know. Yeah, I'm sure they would target products at you uh, based on that, although they say they're they're fully locked down on privacy. And then I guess the other question is about the entertainment component of this. How important will the streaming devices be to these announcements and how much more can they really push the ball forward when that's an area that's pretty commoditized right now? I think that's the biggest challenge for these companies heading into the holiday season, which is the story around this, uh, around TV has turned to the streaming wars. It's turned to the content. All of the hardware products do virtually the same thing. So you have all of the companies at this point, and, and we're expecting announcements from Google later in the week or next week around Chromecast. Uh, you've got um, Roku with their boxes. You've got Amazon with Amazon Fire TV. I we definitely will hear about Fire TV and uh, their sticks and the boxes and the TV partnerships today. But what does Amazon bring to the table to overlay all of those streaming services that Roku, Apple TV, and all the other competitors just can't do as well.